I don't know about a whole lot of other places in the world where you can go just bring a box of jigs and be able to just go catch fish. This is one of them. We're on a fly-in trip up in Ontario and we're up here with K Air Service. Come up here with them every year. I really enjoy it up here. This is some cool fishing. This is Black Sewell, this is fly-in trips. It's fun fish. Catch a lot of fish today, I guarantee it. You're gonna get to feel every single one of them bite on a jig. I think that's one of the coolest things about this type of fishing is just being able to feel the bite. That's what's cool about jigging, just feeling that bam, fish hits it. You know, I think one of the coolest things, feels like a pretty good one. I think one of the coolest things about these fly-in deals, is, you know, so often we think of jigging being spring and fall. Man, I just love jig fishing. I mean, it's just, as far as I'm concerned, hand-to-hand -hand combat, fun fishing, good fish here. It's a really nice fish, nice walleye, big walleye. Woohoo! thinks he's a bass. Look at this guy, big walleye to start. <laughs> That's really cool. Great way to start. Look at that. Let me flip this bale. But I think one of the neatest things about these fly-in trips and Canada fishing is so often we're thinking about jig fishing being a spring and fall thing only. And you don't think of jig fishing right in the middle of summer. But one thing that's really neat about all these fly-in trips is you can jig. Look at that, hooked him. Right in the snout, right where you want to get them. Awesome fish. But you can jig these fish on these types of trips up into Canada right through the summer. And I think that, I think that is really, really cool because jig fishing, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the funnest ways to catch fish. It's a great fish right there. We'll get him back. Get out of here, buddy. But jig fishing, like I said, is just one of the funnest ways to catch fish because you'd feel that bite. I mean, that fish just came out, wham, just snapped it. And I think that's so cool when you get to feel a bite on a fish like that. But the ability to come up into, into Canada pretty much all summer long, spring to fall, and catch fish on jigs, I think that's one of the biggest allures. You know, you look at you look at why people choose to come up and fish Canada. I think a lot of it's just the fact that you can do what we're doing here today. You can jig fish right through the summer. There's one right there. Huh. Pretty, pretty automatic right now in this spot. This feels like it might be another pike. Let's see. If it is, I might have to slide around the other side of this. You know one thing about Canada, you know, game fish up here, walleyes, pike, whatever it is, they're all mixed together. Sometimes they'll just be in a little bit different depths. Oh no, it's just a really nice walleye. Sometimes what, what'll happen is pike will be just a little deeper, maybe, maybe just a hair shallower. Yep, good walleye. Another good fish. They're all good and it's, you know, it's just one after another here. I, you know, I don't even know what to say about it besides if you haven't done one of these trips, you're missing out. I know you've heard me say it before on Fish Ed, but this is some of the funnest fishing you'll ever do in your entire life is a fly-in trip. And if you have not done a fly-in trip, you are truly missing something when it comes to, to walleyes. I mean, just Canadian walleyes straight out of the lake in the frying pan at night, being in the middle of nowhere, having a lake all to yourself. Man, I'll tell you, I don't think there's anything a whole lot better. I've been coming to K Air Service for a lot of years. I come here with my family. My son and I come up here. Um, this year, my wife and I and my daughter 
and my new son-in-law came up here and, and spent a couple days fishing. And, and man, I'll tell you, I, I don't think those kids had ever caught that many fish in their life. I think they were tired of catching fish by the time we were done. But I'll tell you this as well, man, it was great to spend that time together where we didn't have TVs and, and we weren't listening to radios and cell phones were pretty well shut off. And, you know, we were just out in the middle of nowhere and just got to spend a bunch of time together. And I think that's one of the coolest things about these flying trips is the ability to do that with family and friends and, and just spend some quiet time together, especially in today's hustle and bustle world. There he is. Got him. Clockwork, one after another. Another nice one. Man, these fish up here are so strong. I've always said, and I think part of that is just all the time they spend in this cold water, they are just so strong. Look at that fish, man, he ate that whole jig down. Get him unhooked here. When you are picking the jigs you're gonna bring, awesome fish. You're gonna be tying on some jigs up here and I'll, I'll tell you why. Number one, when I'm jig fishing, I'm using a super line so that I can feel every bite, boom, boom. I mean, it's, it's really obvious when you get hit. But then I've got little indie barrel swivel, and then I've got a little section of fluorocarbon line but what's going to happen there in that section of fluorocarbon line, that's there because I just don't want the fish to see any of that super line. Now, it might not matter, but but I still feel like ah, I'm just going to be as, as careful as I can to make sure I'm as dialed in as possible. But one of the things that's going to happen is you're going to be tying some jigs on because some pike are going to steal them. There's just nothing you can do about that because you're using that fluorocarbon instead of tying directly to your super line or, or using a leader. So. When I talk about jigs, I get it. When you walk into a store, there are a ton of different options out there for jigs. But there's a reason that I use these Lindy jigs. Number one, good solid sharp hook. I mean, you're not gonna have problems with hookups and it stands up to a lot. You're not gonna bend hooks either and I think that's a really big deal. But cold weather, you know, anytime I'm jigging, really anytime, anytime I've gotta tie jigs on, I want you to notice something. That's a clean line tie eye. Every single one of these jigs comes with a clean line tie eye. You don't gonna dig any paint out of these things. It's just as simple as tie it on. I mean, there's no extra work that goes into tying on a Lindy jig or a Lindy live bait jig. That's why you choose this jig. The other thing is it's really lifelike. You can look at those protruded eyes on that jig. It makes it look far more lifelike. This is a high-end jig that you can buy for the same price as all the other jigs out there. And I'll tell you what, you're gonna be happy you got this when it's windy, when it's cold, when, when you're just tying on a lot of jigs because you're never gonna dig paint out of that line tie. There he is, got him. That feels like a good one. Man, if they just bit like crazy this morning. Holy smokes, big fish, little fish. Yeah, I mean, it's, this has just been nuts. It's, it's what do you expect? But when I say it's, I still can't get over it. All the years I've been doing this, I still can't get over what fishing is like when you come on these fly-ins. I just, it, it, it's just so much fun. And it just takes so little to do it, rod and reel. Ooh, big walleye, big walleye, look at this one. Look at that, wow, big fish. Wait till I show you this one. This is cool, that's a big fish. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at this one. Look at that one, that's awesome fish right there. Look at that, that's a big Canadian walleye. Like I said, man, handful of Lindy jigs. I like using the heavier ones if I can. They'll take care of you on these fly-ins. It's a simple, simple deal. Fish like this, man, this fish might have never bit anybody's line. This might be the first time this fish has ever been caught in his life. And that's one of the things that I think is so cool about these fly-in trips. So the lumbe big girl, I'm gonna get you back in the water. That's awesome right there. There you go. 
There she goes. Boy, what a fun morning. Tell you what, I think we're gonna head back into camp, have some breakfast. Get up and do one of these things. This is just a ball. <laughs> it's, it's just an absolute ball. I look more forward to these trips up here every single year than I do anything else I do. That's just an awesome couple hours of fishing this morning. Time for breakfast. <laughs>